Now here's a topic I don't think anyone's discussed here yet. We've all seen plenty of robot and robot romance across Transformers cartoons and comics. Optimus and Alita 1, Black Arachne and Silverball, to name some of the biggest on-screen romances. Those classics are decades old, but more recently, IDW's comic series included many couples and several same-gender couples for what may have been the first time in the franchise. Rewind and Chrome Dome and Unknown and Lug are other well-known relationships, but going back to the shows, we have one more large pairing that this video focuses, Solus Prime and Megatronus Prime. Megatron? No, this is not Megatron. Megatronus and Solus are ancient Transformers, in fact some of the first to be made. Three series I know share the same basic origin story, Transformers Prime, IDW, and Power of the Primes. Once there were 13 original Primes before the time of Optimus Prime, two of these robots fell in love, Solus Prime and Megatronus Prime. Solus is known for her kindness and being able to forge anything, including powerful weapons, and Megatronus just seems like some evil dude, but he does love her. And then, accidentally or intentionally, Megatronus ends up killing his lover, Solus. This is the basic story we use now of a tragic couple in Transformers. What people didn't catch on to for Transformers Prime is that Solus Prime wasn't only in love with Megatronus. There were other Primes in love with her while she was close to Megatronus. So what did that all mean? Did that make Megatronus jealous? This is the case of what might be the first instance of polyamory in Transformers. Transformers Prime has a lore book called The Covenant of Primus. The first few chapters focus on the Primes, but what we are looking at is Chapter 3, The War of the Primes, subsection Seeds of Fate, pages 37 to 38. It's mostly just page 38, and it's such a small detail that can really be thought about. From a cultural view, what would romance be to alien robots? Well, here is the confirmation that Solus and Megatronus do love each other, so there is no controversy whether this is a ship or not. This is the only confirmed pairing in Transformers Prime. They loved each other. It was obvious. It's telling. And later on, Solus also tries to tell Megatronus that she loves him while she is dying. This section tells us how they show affection and what the other 11 Primes think of this. It starts with Megatronus feeling adoration for Solus that is more than friendship. Megatronus is defensive of Solus whenever others try to criticize her. He visits Solus and he behaves more nicely to other people when he is in their presence. Solus enjoys his extra politeness and Megatronus shows her the neat things he finds outside at work. The two of them would talk and lean on each other, so they do get cozy. Prima, Vector Prime, and Alpha Trion do not understand deep personal love and think it's imaginative. These three would rather focus on their work. 13, Onyx and Micronus all think Solus's and Megatronus's relationship is cute, but then the book claims this. Onyx and Solus had a similar relation to that of her and Megatronus. There's meaning in that short sentence. That means they are just as close and affectionate, and they love each other romantically. The book adds Nexus too, but she and Nexus went back and forth between being close and arguing with each other. Micronus is noted as not really a romantic interest, but a close friend to share intellectual conversations with. 13 is just a devoted friend. The next paragraph refers to these bots as the friends Megatronus had to accept. He is described as a jealous person, unhappy whenever her attention isn't on him, but he struggled to accept it because Solus was happy with everyone else. But is he jealous specifically because of the polyamory or because he's insecure? Solus Prime basically has two stable boyfriends, Megatronus and Onyx, and a third boyfriend, Nexus, who is kind of like the bad boys she can't stop arguing with but can't help but be attracted to. But none of these are actually called boyfriends or husbands or partners or the IDW term conjux and dure. These are unlabeled relationships. Because think of it this way, Transformers are an asexual species and they do not make babies. They don't actually have a male or female sex or any biological instinct to form couples. So often, we humans write Transformers getting into romantic relationships, but then we call them Taken, as so now, no other robot can be romantic with them. But that is our monogamous cultural view that these robots wouldn't share. They don't know what monogamy is, and there is no sense of being taken. To them, love has no reproductive push, it is purely feeling a strong attachment to a friend. And there's no limit to that, they could love another bot very strongly and want to cuddle with them. No one is getting married and sharing a house and kids, they are just enjoying friendships in different ways. Of course, maybe a Transformer would want to share a home with another, it just wouldn't be taboo if they left the house to cuddle someone else. 
There's simply no such thing as cheating. Solus is not cheating on Megatronus with Onyx or Nexus. In this culture without coupling being commonplace, there is no shame for being affectionate with more than one person. Someone might think you're a sappy flower instead of a tough butt, but that's all. Jealousy though, this can still exist. Megatronus doesn't like Solus giving attention to anyone but him. He wants to have more of her time and be the most special to her. Megatronus is a bit of an insecure character because the other Primes perceive him as evil and shun him even when he hasn't done anything, so of course he is very attached to the one person giving him affection. But I'm sure Megatronus wouldn't be the only Transformer wanting a monogamous sort of relationship. There could always be arguments about wanting most of each other's time and being the most special. Megatronus doesn't want to be the same as Onyx in her heart, but better. Polyamory is going to be more common among Transformers because of their loose definitions of relationships. Remember, Solus isn't tied down by words like boyfriend, these are all just friends to her that she gives time and affection to by choice. She isn't deceiving Megatronus either, sneaking off to spend time with others. Everyone involved knows what's happening. And that is a key component of polyamory in real life. Megatronus just isn't looking for this. Among the asexual species, they still logically have their different romantic orientations. Prima, Vector, and Alpha Trion are aromantic, for example. But at the end of it, those who are romantic are panromantic. Solus isn't actually female at all, and all the other characters are not male. She and he are only translations to us, but at this time, all these primes have no idea what gender is, and they use a singular pronoun equivalent to they. For asexual robots, there is zero logical reason they would be attracted to the most feminine robot. Solus is the favorite because she is the nicest Prime, a considerate person, and she creates gifts for them all. What sucks though is that Solus is the only Prime who uses she, and then she was just turned into a soul love interest. I put this down as a writing flaw, as though it just wasn't acceptable to make Solus a male character everyone fawns over. A guy with a hammer and three boyfriends. I perceive this as sexist writing, that there was only one female Prime instead of a few, and she was the crush of almost everybody. And why not have other crushes, such as Onyx and Micronus Prime who were close? What about some spicy side Megatronus and Leech Maximo to really add some drama? Is romance only acceptable when it is heteroromantic? The book gives those vibes, especially when near the end, a joke is made about Mercury wanting to combine with Optimus Prime, and the joke seems to only be made because Mercury is a feminine robot. You don't see inappropriate jokes being made about other combining Transformers who are masculine. So are there any more cases of polyamory in Transformers? Only one I can think of. Lost Light, the dream conclusion of the Chrome Dome Rewind Dominus Ambus drama. For context, Rewind is an Autobot who used to be in a relationship with Dominus Ambus. A long time ago, Dominus went missing. Rewind gets into a new relationship with Chrome Dome, but the drama is what will Rewind do if they find Dominus Ambus? Who will he choose to be with? This ran throughout more than meets the eye, and I always thought it was unnecessary and an enforcement of human monogamous values. There isn't really a reason Rewind has to choose, that they can't all be in a three-party relationship, or Rewind goes around being affectionate to both Chrome Dome and Dominus. The only conflict is if Chrome Dome is a jealous person, or if he doesn't like Dominus, or just wants to be the most valued by Rewind. The story talks about the situation like a general cultural taboo, however. In the sequel Lost Light, there are two Rewinds in a dream, and only then a polyamorous relationship is sort of decided. But that seems to be only because there's enough Rewind to go around, so that's not really accepting polyamory. Transformers as a franchise is scared to write polyamory, and I don't know if we will ever see romance on screen as anything but monogamy. Two robots together, they are taken. That's the end. It's a shame, really, because polyamorous humans exist, but their relationships are constantly written as taboo. That is why I think this topic was an important one to put into the spotlight for once.